Hi, beautiful. Today's video is a video for me and me only. I mean, I definitely hope you enjoy it. As a YouTuber, you just have to do things for yourself. I have such a hectic month ahead of me for reasons you guys will find out in a very soon bit while. I don't have time to do everything I need to do. If you don't already know, I do paint. I recently went on Instagram and showed you guys the fact that I do paint and a lot of you guys seemed very interested in it. And then I was like, well, I also haven't done a Q&A. Well, I've done mini Q&As, but I haven't done a full-on Q&A in years. Um, so I might as well let you guys get to know me better and reveal some tea. So I asked you guys to text me at this number, any questions you have. And I told you nothing is off limits. I hope we get some juicy questions in here. So we're gonna make some art today and and I'm gonna answer all your steamy, sexy, hot questions. Let me go get my canvas and let's get started. Let's do it. I feel like Bob Ross right now and I'm loving it. Bobby, if you're up there, how you doing, man? You good? Okay. I know what you're thinking. Brad, I thought you were going to paint something for us. It looks like it's already painted. The thing with me is I am definitely a perfectionist. So with that said, I do end up painting my canvases like three times in a row before I like them. So as you can see underneath this lavender color, there is an existing painting. I painted over the painting and now we're gonna paint over the painting again. Um, so third time's a charm is what they say. Another thing I wanna mention is that I paint abstractly. If you're the type of person doesn't understand abstract art, well, get ready to understand it even less today. So in my life, I am in control of a lot of things. I do a lot, run this business, baby. Believe it or not, I do work night and day. When it comes to art, I just like to say, it and just do whatever I want, however I want, with whatever colors I want and not have any plan of how to execute what I'm thinking in my head. This is going in my office, my separate office in the bigger office, which you guys will get an office tour in a little bit. I did get an office, we renovated the whole thing and it looks fabulous. This has to look good, this has to be energizing, it has to be inspiring so that in the middle of the day when I'm not feeling creative, I get like a creative vibe from it. So we're gonna start off doing something light because I like to work from light to dark, which is how you're supposed to do it, I think, because then your colors like don't get nasty. Um, if you work from dark to light, all your light colors end up like dark. So don't do that. I use acrylic paint. I'm gonna use fluorescent yellow because it is one of my favorite colors. So I'm just gonna put some random yellow on the canvas. I like that shape. So now I'm doing these like lines out of the shape to make it look more like a sunburst type of vibe. Cause I want it to look very like, <gasps> boom. Josie asked you, what's the most useless talent you have? Painting. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Oh, I can ride a unicycle. Nobody believes me. So growing up, my neighbor had a unicycle and she like left it at my house and I was like, oh, I'm bored. I might as well learn how to ride this thing. So I went out there every day and I learned how to ride it. I became a professional unicycle rider. So if this doesn't work out- You're going to the circus. Yes. I feel like you'll fit right in, honestly. 100%. <laughs> Mary Catherine asked, where is your dream vacation? Oh, I've always wanted to go to the, the is it the Maldives? Is that what it's called? Yes. Is that the one with all the houses on the water? They have that at Bora Bora, Maldives. Yeah, I just love the warmth and the water. Lexi Hild, or Hild, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, asked you, when did you first realize you were gay? The day I was born, baby. When, when did I, you realize when you were straight? I, I when you, the first time I like was like, ooh, huh, oh, that man. Yeah, oh, like okay. the first time you get a horny, right? Like, <laughs> isn't that how it works? Elena Lundsetter asked you, have you ever had a boyfriend before? <sighs> <laughs> yes, Elena. A few actually, believe it or not. I have dipped into the, the pond. <laughs> I'm making caterpillars all over my canvas. Yeah, what the heck? It'll they all look chromosomes. It'll all come together. <laughs> okay, so I'm mixing up some blue and some yellow left on the palette. See, I don't like to wash my palette or do anything necessary to make my life harder. I just work with what I got. And now we have this beautiful greenish color. And I need a little white in here because it's too dark, but it's a beautiful, like almost seafoam green color. A little bit of white, a little mixy poo. Are you inspired today in your painting? Like what's inspiring you in your painting right now? Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing in my head. It just falls out. It's just falling out. <laughs> no, I actually have literally no idea what I'm gonna do yet. Okay. Cool. Usually I just put down a bunch of colors and then it just like churns into something. Like so far I hate these colors together, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Yeah, no, I think it's really beautiful. Let's break some of this 
line edge up. And since we have yellow and green next to each other, we will get a muddy color. Jaslyn Oliver asked you, okay, well, have you ever kissed a girl? I've actually done more than kiss a girl before. Can we, you go into more detail about that? Because I'm sure the audience <laughs> wants to know. I'm sure they're gonna want we to know. We ignore that past life of mine. It was born in high school. One thing leads to another and you end up with a girl. Totally. Totally. You totally. know what I'm saying? Never been there. And then you say, okay, you know, I'm definitely gay. And then you move on. You know, oh, yeah, of course. you grow out of that. Um, Nadia Baharian, ever thought of shaving your head? I have shaved my head. Would I do it again? Uh, yeah, probably. I, I will do anything with my hair, as you guys can probably tell. We're mixing up some light blue. Ooh, fun. Let's add some blue to this, babe. I honestly hate this lavender color that I laid down to start. It should have been brighter, but whatever. We'll work with that. Morgan Hatton wants to know, what is your favorite store to shop at? <sighs> Emma, you take a guess. Prada. That's the one! It's Prada. It's not something like Zara, if you wanna, if you wanna meet me, all of us shop at. <laughs> if you ever wanna meet me, just go to Prada and just hang out there. <laughs> So, so far, you guys, I hate this color scheme I'm working with. The yellow looks muddy and the purple looks muddy. We're gonna have to add some more like light lavender, I think, in here, or just something to like give it some energy, you know? It's like lacking life. I think maybe pink. Pink always solves my problems. I hope this comes out good, because so far, it's looking a little <laughs> but that's okay, because every abstract painting can be fixed. I'm gonna dry it with a blow dryer real quick. And luckily, with acrylic, it dries really fast. That's why I love working with acrylic. So we're mixing up some pink and some white because we're gonna make a very bright pink. And hopefully it'll look a little more fun on this canvas. We're just gonna like stipple it in because that's what I'm feeling like doing. That's looking nicer. Ooh, I like what's going on in the center here. So we're gonna do more of that. I'm just going in and filling up all the gaps with the pink. It's all about layering, ladies and gents. So now guys, we're gonna take this water sprayer and we're gonna mix in some pink paint. And this is how you get some beautiful splashes. Hopefully I don't get it all of my white wall because this is the wall I film on. And it honestly looks like spray paint in my opinion, the way it drips, so it's really cool. Um, I think it needs like whites or something, or like just something brighter. Remember when I said I work from light to dark? Well, today, we're not doing that. <laughs> Told you, I have no rhyme or reason for the things I do. Okay, now we have a beautiful sponge from Trader Joe's. Um, if you don't have these, they're amazing. They actually expand in water, it's just so fun, every single time. So I'm gonna stipple with a sponge. Rebecca Gill asked you, what is your biggest regret of 2020? I don't regret anything and neither should you, unless you do something really bad, but hopefully you haven't. I just feel like everything in life happens. I don't know if I believe in like for a reason, but like I believe that things happen and then there's an like outcome from it. Whatever path you choose in life, you get this thing and then whatever other path you choose, you get that thing. So maybe the bad decision that I made or the thing that I f***ed up on was actually a good thing and got me to where I am today. Emily S. asked you what age did you start dyeing your hair? So my dad is a hairstylist. He would color my hair all the time. I think I was like five and I've been doing it ever since. I like the effect the sponge gives me because it's very blurred and it kind of looks like there's motion going on. Ooh, okay, orange. This orange said, I'm gonna steal a spotlight from every other color on here. And I said, go for it, babe. I'm getting somewhere I like, and I'm so happy about it. Wait, I actually kind of love it right now. Should I keep going? F yeah, because I always overdo shit, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do more of this shit, because I want to f up my walls even more. We're gonna put more yellow on here because I feel like the yellow is a little dull and I think we get more oomph out of this. I'm just gonna do really small paint strokes to make it more like it's moving, like there's some movement in here, if that makes any sense. Evelyn Enrique 
Rodriguez wants to know, worst thing about being an influencer? Hi, thank you for that question. The worst thing about being an influencer is being an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that people assume a lot of things about you that they don't actually know about, and then they like run with it, like me not being a real hairdresser for one. I am a real hairdresser, but I get that a lot, and people seem to think that they know everything about my life after they watch one video of mine. And they literally will fight with people saying that I am fake. Y'all don't even know me. Nicole Jones wants to know, what was the scariest moment of your life? I hate heights so much. Like I love roller coasters and stuff, but I'll have to close my eyes the entire way up because I don't want to know where I am. But I love like the adrenaline rush. In high school, we went on this trip to Six Flags and I went on a bunch of rides and it was all fine. And then I went on a ride that went from one side of the park to the other so you didn't have to walk. It was like a big, cage that you sat in and you could see underneath you all around and there was nothing like protecting you so it was like kind of scary and by kind of scary i mean my friend and i were literally crying and we had to get off like before the ride ended <laughs> i hated it so much so that was one of the scariest times in my life for sure i thought i was gonna die to know what's your favorite movie i don't have favorites of things like favorites colors genre of music like favorite artists like i'm not really into that i will say one movie that i really liked inception because i just love mind thrillers that are like sci-fi themed i like a movie that makes me think and i like have to pay attention the whole time or else i get really bored so I'm gonna add some light blue now because I'm vibing with light blue in my head. I just feel like it needs to happen. Nina Randall wants to know, who was your first kiss? I don't remember who my first kiss was only because I was playing spin the bottle and I was like way too young. But I had a girlfriend at one point and I kissed her. I feel like I would more consider her my first kiss rather than like the spin the bottle sesh that we played. So it was a female. Wants to know, are you currently dating someone? <laughs> Am I? I don't know. <laughs> Going out on dates? Sure. Are we like together? No. Emma, how about you? <laughs> Let the fans get to know you. <laughs> Single AF. Haven't been on the date since like 1975, although I wasn't even born yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Favorite color is pink. <laughs> I like long walks on the beach. There's any Jewish boys watching that are, you know, cute? At least they make six figures a year. <laughs> God, that's so not true. I'm not into money or looks or anything. <laughs> what? Me? Melissa <laughs> Keen asked you, what are going to be your goals for 2021? World domination. Now, to keep growing my company, Ex Mondo, and, you know, keep growing on social media, but mostly just kicking ass. But really giving you guys a lot more hair products, a lot more fun stuff that maybe isn't hair products. We have a lot of launches coming up and I'm very excited about them and I just want them all to go smooth and go great and us have a good time doing it. So now I'm adding like kind of streaks of every color I have in my palette here and my palette has a lot of color. And I think these are just the finishing touches and then I will call it a day on this. Megan Bunting asked you, what is your biggest fear? A family member dying. I think that's probably a lot of people's worst fears. I don't know what could be worse than that. I think I'm gonna call it quits on that one. Any other questions before we uh, we leave this situation here? Kelly King wants to know, is your ex Mondo shampoo coming back soon? Indeed it is, along with some other things for you. It's coming back, uh, literally so soon. This month, it's gonna be better than ever, so. Okay, so is it my favorite painting ever at the end of the day? Maybe not. Is it cute? I think so. Is it good enough? Yes. Do my paintings draw on me? Yes. So like, usually I have to just stop and then I end up liking them down the road. So I'm gonna stop here and hopefully when I hang it up in my office, it looks beautiful. I am also gonna put a coating of gloss on this so it comes to life even more and then it'll look a lot better. And then I will show you guys a picture of what it looks like on my wall in my office because it's going on a brick wall. So it's gonna look really cute. But yes. That is my painting. I hope you guys enjoyed my painting today. And if you don't, I don't give a f because it's for me and not for you, <laughs> but also for your entertainment, I guess. If you do art and you think you're bad at it, as long as you enjoy it, go for it. Why not? Maybe one day you will get good at it. Just keep trying, keep doing it. Maybe you can pretend you're an artist like me. Just playing. I am an artist. I am.
okay? Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. These are all my social media handles. Go for it, there they all are. Make sure you guys text me at the number right here. This is a real number that really goes to my phone and I can really see all your text messages and I can really reply to all of you and I'll be choosing a few of you to do just that. Make sure you guys follow Xmondo Hair on Instagram at Xmondo Hair or shop on our website right down below at xmondohair.com. Make sure you guys subscribe right below and click the bell icon. This is not a bell icon, this is a like button, but also that, that'd be good for me. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ming and she says, I've had plain black medium length hair for so long. She says, however, there's a minor problem. I don't know what to do to my hair. Uh, I was hoping you could help. And yes, Ming, I can help you. I'm getting a lot of vibes. First of all, I really like your haircut. You have beautiful hair, so thick. I just like the length that it's at, to be honest with you, but I think we can have a lot of fun with the color. I think you should start off with doing a really intense like balayage highlight, definitely with those money pieces in the front, and then maybe tint them like a pink color or a lavender. It would just look so good on you, and just having like the ends a different color to start will be a nice transition into doing more like crazier things. Use any permanent color and just change them all the time to like pink or purple and just have fun with it. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.